Hey everybody, uh, Brian here. I got something exciting uh, in the mail today and I wanted to share it and do something a little bit different for the channel um, in the form of a review. Recently, uh, I bought a euphonium and it came with a very beat up original case. Um, here, I'll actually grab it. Look at this thing, doesn't even have a top, right? No straps, nothing. Uh, the horn is um, uh, is old. It's from the 40s, and it needs a lot of work. But it's it's it was a very interesting horn, and it needed a case, um, something better than what it came in. And I found um, after looking online this Protec bag, um, which was actually super affordable. Uh, it was only about a hundred and 10, 120 bucks, something like that after, you know, and of course to ship it cost me another 15 or $20. So, um, but that's pretty affordable. Uh, you can go as high as six or $700 for, for, uh, an instrument case for my budget. I, I spent very little on the horn. Um, and I didn't want to spend more on the case than I had on the actual, actual in instrument. And I have some experience um, with Protec cases, it's what I hold um, my Shires trombone in, um, and I do a lot of traveling. The case has been held up pretty well over the last five years, so I knew the company and kind of like the quality, the general quality of the product um, that they were putting out. I figured, hey, well, the price is good. Why not, you know, stick with the familiar company? So anyway, I haven't looked at this at all. I just pulled it out of the box. And um, I want to give you sort of a off the cuff um, look at it, an opinion, and uh, yeah, and something different for the channel. So this is the uh, Protec C242 uh, euphonium case. It's the bell up version. So um, they do make a version for forward facing bells. Um, as you can see, it has this, uh, they call it ballistic nylon. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, you say the word ballistic, you like what are they doing? Shooting it with a gun? Like I'm not really sure, but um, it's pretty tough uh, on my trombone case. It's held up the the fabric on the outside is held up really well. Very little wear on it. Uh, the first thing I notice, I'm trying to figure out. I think they're plastic. Um, they're kind of lightweight. But they, they do have these nice um, rubber pull tabs, um, sort of over the rubber covers over the pull tabs. Um, and uh, they work pretty well. Like, I haven't had any issues with um, the zippers on my trombone case, so I'm hoping it will be the same on this. I have had zippers come loose on other bags, so uh, different manufacturers. So, you know make a difference so you can always jerry rig something if they if they come loose usually what happens is they get back banged around a lot you know going through storage or in and out of a car and um you know they just wear down here at at the links and that you you yank on them one day and they pop off so um we'll see how these last um but like i said haven't had any issues uh, with my other protect case the zipper functions nicely you can see um they do have this nice padded handle, which fits the hand pretty well. One thing that uh, has happened with my um, trombone uh, case from Protec is that the Velcro that links, especially like this, this hold, this hand strap together, it's the same function on my uh, trombone case, um, wears down um, pretty quickly, like within six months or the first year. Um, so what happens is this starts to just come loose on its own. You know, it's not a big deal, but it is like ergon ergonomically, it's, you know, annoying, but um, it doesn't affect the way the horn is protected. Um, and honestly, if you're carrying it, you'll just be holding it together with your hands anyway. So it's really not a big deal, but I don't think, at least for this handle, it's, it's really that big of a deal. Okay, one thing to note, um, hopefully you can see this. It does come with a five-year warranty. Um, let's read it. <laughs> so it's guaranteed against defects in materials and workmanship for five years. 
from the date of purchase. So keep your receipt, I guess. Protec will repair and replace at their discretion, it says, uh, defective products. So I'm not sure what that means. I guess if they figure it's really egregious of a defect, they'll repair it. But uh, it says, disclaims any responsibility for incidental or consequential damages resulting from improper use of this product. So I guess if like, I don't know, you were actually using it as a bulletproof case <laughs> and testing out the ballistic level um, nylon, then they probably wouldn't give you your money back. Specifically excluded is any damage caused by accident, misuse, and normal wear and tear. But anyway, it does have a five-year warranty. Um, hopefully you wouldn't have to use it. Okay, looking at the outside, we do have a couple features which are cool. So besides the um, side handle here that we looked at earlier, it does have, I think they call this like a subway or a bus handle. There's another look at the subway handle. Um, you might not have been able to see that the first time. If you had to stand, you know, this, you might set it on the bell and, you know, shuffle around this subway car like that. It's just another handle. Here and here, front and back, they have um, metal loops um, set up for a shoulder strap. So I don't know, I don't think it came with the shoulder strap. We'll have a look. And in addition to that, it does have uh, backpack straps. So honestly, like I would take backpack straps any day of the week over a shoulder strap, but um, it is good to know that you can get uh, shoulder strap from Protec to fit the bag. If you're like me and you're going through an airport or, you know, riding public transport or even just moving instruments from your car to the venue, if you're carrying multiple instruments, one of them's going on your back and then another might be going over your shoulder. So it means it's versatile as far as um, carrying it around. The backpack straps are metal, which is good. You're gonna take a lot of weight. Um, and again, nylon um, straps, they're pretty well padded. And if they're like the straps uh, for my Tromo case, they'll be pretty comfortable. Um, it's not something you'd wanna walk around in all day, but going to and from a gig, um, it's, it's not too bad. The backpack straps, I'm putting them away, but they fit in, they tuck away in this pouch. So, you know, so they don't get tangled up in a car, going through a metal detector or something. Just looking further at the exterior, like, and this is true with my, my trombone bag as well. Um, the stitching's real, it's pretty good um, for the material. There, I've had, again, after five years, some fraying um, here where you might find along the seams on my trombone case. Again, that's a, it's a Protec bag, so I would expect you'd have the same after five years along some of these edges where it's getting rubbed along some of these seams, um, especially at, you know, where it might sit along the bell. But honestly, you know, it, it'll just look a little bit worn. It's not gonna affect the amount of protection of the case itself. It does have a side pocket, which is pretty cool. Hey, check it out, look what I found. All right, so first of all, you get a nifty um, name tag, and that fits, you know, you can put that anywhere you want, honestly. So that's pretty cool. Put your name and address and email or whatever, and if it got left at a venue, that's more likely what's gonna happen. Um, but check this out. Shoulder strap. Attaches up here and down here. It's got like a decent rubber pad. Again, it's not gonna be as comfortable, you know? Like is the backpack straps, but it does make it more versatile as far as like carrying options, right? So um, let me try it out. Yeah, this is not bad. You can make it pretty like fairly long, I guess. So if you wanted to go over the head, a little bit more secure that way. Um, but yeah, that's cool. It's cool. It comes. It's cool. It comes with both. Because I had to, for an extra, you know, 20, 30 bucks, I had to order backpack straps for my trombone case. It's cool that it comes with um, both. 
uh, options. Uh, the backpack straps for this case are, are built in um, to the case itself. So that's, that's kind of neat actually. Here's some of the stitching. It's not bad. It's not like the prettiest. I don't know if the camera's focusing on that or not, if you can see that, but it's not bad. Here's the, uh, rubber pad. Right. So I know I've, you know, made a few jokes about the, what they call the ballistic nylon. Um, but, uh, I have to say it is pretty water resistant. You can throw it in a lake and have, you know, your corn strip, the case stay dry, but for rain, you know, stepping in and out of a car, going from a car to a venue or whatever, like if, if you get rained on a little bit, you'll be fine. Um, and even, you know, this outside uh, pocket, if you had music in there, it'd probably be fine for five or 10 minutes. So um, it is pretty durable. The material is pretty durable. So uh, all jokes aside. So it does have this um, pocket. I don't know if you can see easily in there. This product res registration. So that's probably for uh, the warranty. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I had to pay for one of these. What is this? This, this is cool. Okay. So th they've given us a shoulder strap. It has built in backpack straps and it came with a mouthpiece pouch, which is like, it's pretty baller. Okay. So I haven't looked inside the bag yet, but in the, the side pocket, it doesn't have any, it, there's no spot for a mouth piece. There's no like pouch built in. So you will, you are going to need this. That being said, that's really cool because normally you'd have to order one of those. You got a pouch. It's kind of thin. Again, the material's water resistant, but it's not going to be waterproof, so don't go hanging out in the rain. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but it's got pencil holders. Always bring a pencil, kids. Always bring a pencil to rehearsal. Now you have no excuse. Put three pencils in here immediately, right? Hang on. All right, here we go. A one for you, and two for your slacker bandmates. All right, so we got our pencils. You get two pouches. This one's got like a little corded tie. You can put, you know, I don't know, post-it notes or like, Valve oil in here, most likely, right? Uh, just little knickknacks, stuff you'll need. Um, and of course, the the pouch is pretty large. Um, let's see what'll fit in it. All right. So I got Doodle Studies, Bob McChesney. You're not going to be working on this on a euphonium, but look at that. Plenty of space. So if you have like a, if you're doing a wind band rehearsal and you have a really fancy printed copies that are the extra, you know, extra big for reading. They would definitely fit in here. I'm sure of it. If you've ever been in band, you know what kind of print I'm talking about. That's cool. Like, this is always nice. This is always nice to have because carrying your music in your hands, not only is it a pain in the butt, but it's a disaster waiting to happen. Now, check out the feet. It does have some sitting feet. So like, you know, you set it down on a table or whatever and it, um, it's going to protect the nylon, the, the um, stitching and the material. And of course, feet on the bottom where the bell goes. So if you need to have it stand like that, you'll be able to do it. All right, let's open this up, have a look. Okay, so it doesn't open up wide. Like, you're not, it doesn't open up like a... Some cases might, like a book, right? This is something, it, that's about as much as you get. The zipper, the back zipper only comes to that far, to this rubber guard here. And the top zipper obviously only goes to the bell. It's a gig bag, right? It's soft, it's a soft bag, so. Um, it's not, you know, a hard case you'd probably lift open. Um, it does open wide. I think they said 
25 millimeters of foam. You know, it's a gig bag. It's enough to keep the minor dings and certainly any scratches off the horn. The lining is very soft. Um, it's not going to be abrasive to the um, lacquer on the horn. It's padded up top. So this is like, um, is hard. There's like a hard plastic sheet in here. So you do have this padded uh, bo bell bottom, bottom for the bell, padded section for the bell. I don't know why it's removable. I honestly, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, why would you ever want to remove it? I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's something I'm missing. Um, let me know. But uh, it is removable. Honestly, they say it's like extra padding. That's what they say on the website. But there's no padding underneath it. So, uh, you know, I don't know. It's about as thick as the rest of the padding. 25 millimeters, I guess. It's a little awkward to put back, so I just like, again, I don't know why you would take it out. Oh my God, get in there. Again, be, just be careful. It's a cloth bag. It's a gig bag. It's not a hard case. It's not going to protect it from heavy, from drops or stuff falling on it, heavy stuff falling on it, you know. So just be, but for you know, minimal amount of protection, it's not bad. Um, like I said, the it's pretty soft, the, the lining. Look, I already got junk in it. But it didn't come this dirty. <laughs> Let's get that out of there. There is a hard bottom underneath here as well um, to protect it if you set it down. So you can set it down like this or like that. They have like a hard plastic sheet it's like mildly flexible and that'll help protect it. Let's put the horn in, eh? Just wanted to show off the horn a little bit. I found a Besson new standard euphonium um, with that was, it's just really interesting to me at least. I'll try and show you the engraving. So this is an old horn. The serial number places it around the mid to late 1940s. Um, and some of the markings on here would seem to indicate that it was a military horn at one point for the uh, British Royal Marines. It has R&B stamped on it, um, as well as some other additional markings. It is not playable right now. It needs a lot of work. There's some bell damage. I don't know if you can see that right here. It obviously took a spill, crumpled the bell a bit. There's dents all over. Nothing too egregious, but stuff that needs to get worked on. Some on the tuning slides. Some of the tuning slides move. Some of them don't. It's got the original mouthpiece shank. It's going to take a medium shank euphonium mouthpiece. I'm not going to change it at all. I, to my best ability, I'm going to get this back to original condition. Um, the three top valves, actually number three isn't bad. Two and three aren't bad, but um, there's a lot of plating wear on the inside. One sticks, and there is no fourth valve. Uh, <laughs> there's actually like newspaper stuffed in here. I'm not, I don't have no idea what happened to it, but um, it's in the condition it's in. Um, I got it, like I said, I got it for cheap. Knowing that it, it would need um, needed a lot of work, it certainly does, but it's it's not in bad a shape as I thought it might be. And um, the horns, generally this um, model euphonium is relatively well regarded, so I thought it was an interesting find um, and an interesting horn with some character to it. Um, so it's, it's going to need work, but I knew that going in, and... Um, Hopefully one day this is a beautiful sounding horn. I think it will be. So one of the things I noticed when I was putting the horn in the first time, you want to be careful that the zipper isn't scratching the lacquer plating on your horn. Because you can't open the bag super wide, it's a tight fit up top, which is good. You just be careful. Have it have the bag set 
on something and when you're putting it in. You can also try it this way. Bag standing up. Yeah, I don't know, I'd rather, I'd rather have the bag down. That's how it fits. It's pretty snug. There's room around the bell. If you wanted to step up protection, like if you were traveling with it and this is all you had, um, you could put uh, clothes in around the bell and actually underneath the, the top of the bell as well um, and just around the horn in general. I've done that before with um, a cloth trombone bag and was able to, to fly with it. So... Um, just if you're going to fly um, with a horn like this, gate check it. Um, always gate check your horns. Um, you know, tell them at the counter that's what you'd like to do. And when you get to the gate, see if they have room. This should fit, honestly, this should fit overhead in most airplanes. So I think it is viable as a travel case if you're flying. You just have to be very very careful um, with how it's handled going through security, right? Uh, every airport has a different um, different set of uh, rules for how things go through an x-ray machine. It's risky. I think it's a risk if you're going to fly with it, but I, I think it is doable simply for the fact that you can put it over. I, I do think this will fit, you know, in a standard 737 um, overhead compartment. Um, this would meet the luggage requirements, the, the size requirements for luggage. The one thing you don't want to have happen is to this, this goes in the overhead compartment and then you sit down at your seat and somebody a minute later comes up and throws their hard shell suitcase into the overhead compartment and dents this. So um, that, that'd be something to just, you'd want to keep an eye on it as the plane's being loaded and offloaded. It is comfortable enough. These backpack straps are very comfortable. Let me show you. It's comfortable enough to travel like all day with if you were like on tour or whatever. So it does tuck away nicely. It has a handle here. So if, I'll show you how that's useful in a minute. There's nice stitching ar around the, this is actually like really solid stitching around the backpack hooks. Let me show you. Right, so the reason that's important is because this is part of what's going to be bearing a lot of the weight as it gets slung over your shoulder. You don't want that ripping loose or just wearing down over time. Um, again, I haven't had any problem with the stitching on uh, my Protec trombone hard case at all over the last five years. So they are rely. I think the product's reliable. Again, these are metal, which is a good thing. Um, when I pulled it out, this was clipped together. So you do have actually a chest strap right here, which is kind of, which is cool. It helps redistribute the weight across your chest. And that's adjustable. Both backpack straps are adjustable. Now, why is this handle useful? You can see that. It's going to make it easier to throw it over your shoulder. So what happens is like, it'll be on the ground or whatever, and you go to pick it up with the backpack straps, and it just gets yanked and, and the horn moves around and... It's not ideal. So this is just another handle to hold on to. Okay, I don't know if you can see this or not. So again, it has chest straps, adjustable. That's gonna redistribute the weight across your chest. You can, uh, there's a lot of play in the adjustment straps themselves, which is nice. And check this out. You have a tab up here, a plastic tab. Um, I would, if you had like a water bottle, you were traveling with a water bottle, um, that you had on a lanyard any, or like, you know, any, maybe like headphones, you could loop your headphone case through here or something like that. It's just like a spot where you can actually hook some gear on, which is kind of cool. You know, I was on tour for, um, nearly six months last year and this sort of thing is what makes a case bearable over... Um, a long day of travel, right? Um, because you can you can hook up your water bottle there. You're not going to be worried about leaving it somewhere, you know, where you were sitting or whatever. It just 
straps on to your case or whatever it is, your headphones, your wallet, like whatever it is you're, you're hooking on, an extra pair of <laughs> shoes or something like sandals, like whatever it is, right? It's just another little um, feature that's kind of, that's really makes the case livable. I have to say it's pretty comfortable. Um, I was walking around um, in the yard for a bit, pretty darn comfortable. That's one of the things um, that uh, the other reviews had talked about. Um, but this is, it, it, which is def it's definitely true. It's, it's a comfortable bag. I think this is more comfortable because it's a soft back. This is pretty darn comfortable. I think you'd be pretty happy to travel for, you know, six hours or 12 hours or whatever, you know, if you're going across country, it wouldn't be that bad. Uh, your, sh your shoulders wouldn't hurt that much by the time you got to um, your hotel at night. You know, it rides pretty well. It's adjustable. The straps are pretty well padded, and I have to say, it's pretty comfortable. Okay, so final thoughts. I think for the price uh, to quality sort of balance uh, that you get out of this bag and other, honestly, other ProTech bags, it can't be beat uh, in the market right now. I went on tour um, a couple years ago f with a Christmas show. Every single horn player in the orchestra, saxophones, trumpets, trombones, all of them had at least one ProTech bag that they were using on tour. You just get a good level of protection and a pretty respectable level of quality for the at the best price point, what's honestly the cheapest price point on the market. You can spend a lot of money on a case. Do you get better protection for your instrument? Yes. Can you get hard cases for euphonium that are going to protect it better from falls or stuff falling on it? You know, yes, obviously. Uh, but whatever it was, it's like 110, 120 bucks plus shipping. Honestly, you can't get a, a better case than this. Um, and would you want to spend more money on it? you know, a higher quality case. First of all, I don't know if you're going to get a higher quality. I haven't done the reviews. If anybody wants to send me uh, cases to review, I will do so gladly. Uh, but in this case, I was spending my own money. And um, I have to say, like, uh, I knew the quality, basically what the quality level uh, was going to be um, when I got it because I had experience with... Um, another case from ProTech. I have to say, I'm happy uh, with my choice of, of euphonium bag. Uh, there are other cloth bags out there for an extra $100, $200, $300. I mean, you can spend six or $700 on an instrument case, on a euphonium case. I don't think you can get a better quality bag for anything close to the price that you're going to pay for a ProTech bag. As an investment, this provides the qualities that I need out of a gig bag for uh, a new horn, a horn I didn't spend a lot of money on. So for me, um, it was definitely well worth it. I would recommend it. I went to hickeys.com. Um, go to Hickey's. It's a music, big music store in, I think it's Ithaca, New York. Um, they always have a discount. If you go to Protex site, you're going to ask 185 bucks, something like that. Um, don't spend that kind of money. Go to Hickey's. Um, this got to me within like four days. I mean, it shipped right away. They had it um, available. Hickey's is great. Um, they do great business. They have a huge selection of accessories and supplies. I highly, highly recommend them. As an investment, this provides um, the what the qualities that I need out of a um, gig bag for uh, a new horn, a horn I didn't spend a lot of money on. So for me, um, it was definitely well worth it. I would recommend it. Anyway, that was the ProTech C242 Euphonium gig bag. I hope you enjoyed the review. I really hope you found it useful if you're out there looking for a bag. You know, it's, it's good to be able to see something in detail. So I, I hope this was useful. If you liked it, 
please subscribe and check out some of my other videos. I hope to have something else for you down the road. Cheers.